Hi everyone, I'm Tina from Jefferson County Public Libraries and I'm here to welcome you to another toddler story time. But before we start our hello song, I wanted to see if anyone could guess what the theme for today is. This is your clue. I'm going to play it and then I'll explain more about it. Can you guys hear it? It's a singing bowl. It reminds us to be mindful because today's story time is all about mindfulness. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is about paying attention to what's going on around us. That can be something that we're doing, something we're thinking, feeling, or even reading. I'm partial. So our singing bowl tells us to be mindful. What are we going to do to be mindful for story time? We're going to say our hello song, right? Because that's what we're doing. So does anybody remember? If you've done my story times before, you might already know the sign language ASL signs for my song. But if you, if you don't, that's okay. I'm going to tell you right now. So we just need to know the so sign for hello, the sign for friends, the sign for time, and the sign for to say. And just in case you don't know, American Sign Language is a language where people talk with their hands if they have trouble hearing. Okay, so we're gonna sing on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right. Hello, my friends, and welcome to our story time. So, of course, we're going to read, but before we read, we're going to do a special activity about mindfulness because this is the mindful story time. So, this activity is called Dragon Breath, but it's a nice dragon, so don't worry. Um, it's about deep breathing and how it can help us concentrate on our emotions and process them in a good way. Okay, so we're going to pretend. <laughs> that we're a dragon. We're going to think about all the thoughts and feelings we have when we're feeling maybe sad or worried. And maybe those thoughts and feelings make kind of a smoke around us so we can't see or think of what to do. So we're going to use our dragon breath because remember dragons aren't as scared of, of smoke and breathe the smoke in. And we're going to count to five. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna breathe our dragon breath out like fire and make all the bad thoughts and feelings go away. So that was kind of fun, wasn't it? So let's, let's do that one, one more time, okay? So we're gonna breathe in the smoke, all the bad thoughts and feelings. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then breathe them out like fire. Light up all those bad feelings and make them go away. Very good, guys. Uh, you were very good dragons, and I hope you feel a little bit brother now that we did our deep breathing dragon exercise. Um, just a tip for parents. What does mindfulness have to do with literacy? Well, there have been various studies, including one from Harvard, that when taught mindfulness skills like dragon breath, children are better able to focus on the task at hand and better able to use executive function skills, which of course helps them when they're learning to read. So yay, the earlier we teach mindfulness, the better, not only in terms of literacy, but general brain development itself. So great. Okay, so of course it's story time. So we're gonna, we're gonna read a story, but I have to go get my book. So give me just a second. I'm gonna go get my book and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys are back. Thank you so much for waiting for me to find my book. And that's really appropriate because our book is actually called Waiting. And before we read it, I'm going to teach you a sign in American Sign Language for waiting. So we're going to have our hands out like this, like we're saying, what? But we're going to wiggle our fingers. That means waiting. So you can sign that whenever I say waiting in the book, which is going to be a lot. Okay, so we are reading Waiting by Kevin Hinkie 
with the permission of HarperCollins Publishing. So thank you, HarperCollins. All right, so there were five of them and they were waiting. So let's count the five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, but what were they waiting for? Well, the owl with the spots was waiting for the moon. <gasps> what does the pig have? The pig has an umbrella. The pig with the umbrella was waiting for the rain. The bear, ooh, let's see if we can get the bear. The bear with the kite was waiting. If you had a kite, what would you be waiting for? You'd be waiting for the wind, right? So you could fly your kite. And then the puppy with the sled was waiting for the snow so he can play on his sled. And then the rabbit with the stars wasn't waiting for anything in particular. He just liked to look out the window and wait. Well, that's nice. So when the moon came up, who's happy? The owl was happy. It happened a lot. You probably see the moon a lot, right? When the rain came down, who's happy? The piglet, because she can use her umbrella and it keeps her dry. What about the wind? When the wind blew, the bear was happy. What is the bear going to do? He's flying, the kite, right? The kite flew high and far. When it finally snowed, the dog was happy, the puppy. He waited a very long time, right? Because it only snows in the winter. And the rabbit was happy just looking out the window. Yay, that's nice. Sometimes one or the other of them went away. So how many are there right now? One, two, three, four. So who's gone away? The piglet has gone away. But he or she always came back. So now one, two, three, four, five. Now they're all back together again. Sometimes they slept. But mostly, what are they doing? What's the name of this book? Waiting. They're waiting. Sometimes gifts appeared. What happened? They got a shell, an acorn, and a tiny ball. That's pretty cool. Once a visitor appeared from very far away. He's an elephant. He stayed a while. Then he left and never returned. Uh-oh. What happened to him? He broke. He fell from the window and broke. Oh, that's kind of sad. They saw many wonderful, interesting things. Look what they're looking at now. These are different clouds with different shapes. There's an umbrella. There's an owl. These are my favorite. These are all the pictures of the things they see. So they see lightning and thunder, but then they see a rainbow after the storm, right? And who is happy if it's lightning and thundering? Piglet, right? Because she has her umbrella and it's raining. And then oh, the snow. Who's happy with the snow? The dog, right? The puppy. And then fireworks. I think everybody's happy about that. And of course, there was always the moon and the rain and the wind and the snow to keep them happy. And then a new friend. One day, a cat with patches joined them. Cute! So now, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, six friends. Was she waiting for the moon? No. Was she waiting for the rain? No. Was she waiting for the wind? No. Was she waiting for the snow? No. She didn't seem to be waiting for anything in particular. Oh, but she was. Look, she had little tiny cats inside of her. How many tiny cats are there now? One, two, three, four, five. Five cats. Very cute. Now there were, what's five plus five? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's 10, right? So now there are 10 of them. And they were happy together, waiting to see what would happen next. Hopefully the boots can see that last picture. So cute. Yay, they're all together. The end. All right, you guys did so good for my story time. 
before we go, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our program for a thousand books. We actually have these really cute little lunch boxes. So we want to encourage literacy, of course, before kindergarten, you read a thousand books. It can be the same book. You can sign up online or you can sign up at our um, libraries and you get a little cute lunch box for signing up. So go do it. It's awesome and worth it. And uh, yeah. So now we're going to sing our goodbye song. So the same as our hello song, except, of course, instead of saying hello, we're going to sing goodbye, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, goodbye, my friends. Thank you so much for coming to my Mindful and Story Time. I hope you had a great time, and I will see you again soon. Bye.